Well, as Nebraska celebrates 100 years of Memorial Stadium on Saturday, there's no better way to reminisce on some of the best moments than by catching up with a man who spent more time than anyone else commanding the stadium. I sat down with Tom Osborne to reflect on this historic moment. As the state celebrates 100 years of Memorial Stadium, the memories, the plays, the games, the fan base, what are some of your fondest moments of coaching in this, in this stadium? Well, I thought maybe the reason you were interviewing me was you thought I was older than the stadium. <laughs> but I'm close. But uh, I remember the first game that I saw in this stadium was about 1946, right after the war. And uh, I was probably about eight years old, nine years old. And uh, so I've been around a long time. And um, I think the thing that really stands out about uh, this stadium is the fans, you know. I mean, here we've gone through five losing seasons and the stadium is still sold out. And it, there's hardly any place in the country where that would be the case. The fan base has been amazing and, uh, and you, you hate to disappoint them. And Husker fans know how it feels to be at the top. Osborne brought Nebraska back to back national titles in 1994 and 1995. Before that, the 93 team helped establish a win at all costs mindset after losing only one game to Florida State in the 93 Orange Bowl. But I think uh, at that point, um, our team was pretty resolved that they weren't going to lose another one. And uh, so I think that led to the 1994 season where we had a lot of adversity. We lost Tommy Frazier to injury, lost Mike Minter, who was our best defensive back. And, uh, but it just seemed like no matter what happened, uh, they weren't, they weren't going to let somebody beat them. And uh, so that was probably the team that had the most resolve of any team that I've coached. That resiliency, that, that desire to win above all else, I'm sure it comes from you as a head coach. Who taught you that? Well, I wish I could say it just came from me. <laughs> we had a lot of good players. We had good leadership on our team. We had some guys that, uh, that really were dedicated and uh, probably about the, as good a work ethic as we ever had. There's been many discussed moments in your career, of course, one of them being the 1984 Orange Bowl that you've been asked about countless times. Can you believe people are still talking about that, that two-point conversion? There was some criticism, and there were a few people thought, well, if you're going to win a national championship, that's what you have to do. And um, it wasn't really a nail-biter for me. And I always felt in my own mind that uh, I wouldn't probably vote for team number one if they settled for a tie. But I know there's a lot of criticism. And so um, I felt if you're going to be national champion, you, you got to win. But um, I guess during the 80s, we did win a lot of games. But that seems to be the one that uh, people remember the most, I guess. And let's not forget, Nebraska also won a national championship in 1997, sharing it with Michigan. It was also Coach's last game. His 25 seasons as head coach holds some of his greatest memories. We'll take a closer look at his life and legacy tomorrow night in part two.